Hey, it's Todd with Defense and Safety. This is a video response to Neptune Knives contest. Um, the first part of the contest, well, you have to be a subscriber. I've been a subscriber for probably a month, and I really like his channel. I know there's people who don't like what he does. I find that hard to believe. I think he's just, everybody can express their own opinion, and he's got some great opinions, and uh, you got to take all that information for what it's worth, and you digest it into, you know, what you need and want. So I found his information very valuable. Um, so the first part of the contest, uh, second part I guess, is to who has been the most supportive uh, of your channel. And I've only been on YouTube for less, I think, than less than, definitely less than six months. And so I've only got, I've got like 140 subscribers so I haven't had a lot of interaction I've got some comments here and there but not very consistent except for Big Bubba 5037 um, if you don't know him he, he makes these cool sheets I had him make this one for my uh, Spider-Man uh, Police 3 which is a pretty long knife but I have this great uh, custom uh, carry for it and uh, He's been a really cool guy and super nice and pretty supportive. Um, so I would guess he would be probably the person that, that I've interacted with the most. Um, also, just I really hate to pick just one. Aussie, Aussie Mark uh, 909, another fellow Southpaw. He's been pretty, um, provided a lot of feedback and comments. So I like him a lot. Um, and actually, uh, you know, Neptune Knives, you got you you've made a few comments and been very responsive to my PM. So um, I appreciate all the interaction. I, I subscribe to over 100 channels. And I like most of the ones that are active. Obviously, I, I watch all their videos, and I really enjoy um, the YouTube community and the content, which is primarily around my theme, which is defense and safety. So anything to do with that, whether it's prepping or or guns or knives, I'm, I'm pretty flashlights, any kind of gear, I'm into it. So the knife that first kind of got me in, I guess, he, you know, the, the third part is the first real knife. I had a Kershaw when I was younger. I have, I've always had a knife. I've had a knife since probably I was six when I got a Boy Scout knife. But uh, I probably started carrying a knife in uh, junior high. I lived in South Carolina. I don't think there were really rules back then. But the first real knife that I owned was, and this is not it, uh, it was an original Delica, the one that had the FRN with the integrated um, clip that eventually would snap off and the knife would suck. But um, that was probably the first real, more tactical style, you know, one-handed opening, clipped in your pocket. I really loved that. Um, but the first, I guess, real knife that was felt more high quality is this, I've done a review on it, it's the... Um, Benchmade 910 Elishowitz Striker in Tonto. Um, there's a review of this on my channel. Um, and it really reminds me a lot of an Emerson knife. And I, I believe that there's something to do with this style. They were making these knives. These are very similar to the CQC7s. Uh, but this was really this nice, nice spin all over the world before 9 11. I, I flew with this knife all the time. I've been everywhere. The only place I was not allowed to fly with this was in, in I was flying through South Korea and the, they had security right at the gate and they stopped me and said, you know, you have this knife, you can't get on our, this plane. And I said to them, how do you think it got here? I said, I've been flying all over the world with this in my pocket. And so what they were nice enough to do is they gave it to the stewardess. And when I got off the plane, um, I think I was landing in LA, she handed it back to me as I was leaving the plane. So had this knife a really long time. Uh, it's a tip up right hand only, but it works well when you carry it left in the left pocket because when you pull it out, you can go right into a reverse grip. But I've carried this not only many years, but many miles. So I kind of consider this my first real knife. Really nice, well made ATS 34. Uh, you know, it's got the G10 and, you know, full liners. There's not even, they're not even skeletonized at all and then you know probably the other real knife just that really got me back into knives years later was 
when I discovered this wave on the Emerson or the Emerson wave on the Spider Codelica, I started getting into um, defensive handgun training, and they talked about having, you know, a blade um, to use for weapon retention on close quarter, and this is great just because it can open as you pull it out. I don't carry it anymore, um, but uh, again, another knife that, that got me in to uh, to blades. So I guess my very first knife was a, a real Boy Scout knife, and it had the, I remember it had the brass locking. They weren't frame lock, I guess they were. They weren't really the frame or liner, but they were little little brass locks for every little tool that opened. It was cool, blue, but. Uh, uh, yeah, so I guess that's, uh, oh, why do I carry a knife? Well, I carry a knife, I just always have. I, it's, like, I, I, I heard that question, I'm like, why do I carry a knife? I guess part of it is peace of mind, knowing you have a tool on you that you can use, um, knowing that you can, um, uh, use it for whatever you need. Um, there's that kind of peace of mind that it, as a last ditch, uh, defensive weapon, you, you have it on you. Um. I like them also because they're machines. Um, you know, they have to work well, um, all the pieces. You know, there's cheap knives and there's good knives, and I like good knives. And just like I like uh, nice watches, like a mechanical watch in particular, I think they're just great. I like guns also because they're, it's this metal on metal that has to, you know, function a certain way um, to work. And I really appreciate things like this radius lock, uh, and then, you know, a frame lock, uh, or a, a liner lock, and then, uh, um, you know, a frame lock. You know, they're just, each has their own inherent, uh, beauty or mechanic, mechanical functionality that I, that I like. And there's so many different, you know, styles and shapes. So, to me, you know, I can't just have one, and I like the thought of, just having that on me all the time. It's something I, I can pull out and play with, obviously more discreetly, although I am known when sitting at my desk to pull out a knife while I'm on the phone and just flick it open and closed. It's like kind of a nervous habit. Um, but I, I, I just, I've always liked knives. I've always carried them. I don't know why, but uh, I'm not gonna stop. So I'm super stoked about your contest. It's gonna be a long contest, going to 650 subs. Hopefully that'll go fast. And if I could pick the prize I want to win, it would be that lump, oblong tanto, but I'd be happy with any of the prizes. So good luck, and keep up the good work, and thanks. Bye.